I just literally finished a three hour marathon on Elon Musk Tesla's a battery day and I've not prepared anything just just some notes that I've printed up straight away turn on the camera I just want to give you a takeaway on what I've learned what I have heard from the battery day alone so I'm gonna give you seven takeaways unscripted for you now so first Elon Musk is recruiting a lot of engineers <clears throat> yes anybody who believes in the sustainable greener route don't care where you are from you might be a golf ball maker he mentioned that you might be a designer but you think that you've got the capabilities and the resilience to go and help Tesla go apply for a job at Tesla I've been on a career website and there's a billions of jobs in there and number one if you want to apply for a job at Tesla if you're psyched about the world on a sustainably greener future go for it go for Tesla and number two I've learned that the, the the presentation is different from the likes of Apple. Apple is trying to sell you something, but Tesla's was really raw. Things went a bit wrong, but you really enjoy it. They're honest, they're upfront, they're sharing as much as they can. And most importantly, they are serious about a sustainability future. They want to make things work. They're trying to, to, to produce batteries so that they can rely less on oil coming off the ground. So that's number two. And the third one is that Elon Musk has views to try to kill oil and gas. He mentioned oil and gas five times. He said it five times. He talked about the cost of oil and gas, about people's jobs at risk when oil and gas decline. And he wants to make the world a sustainable future, make it more uniform, make it more strict. So he is out there trying to nail, put a nail in the coffin of oil and gas. Unless they want to work with him, he's saying that, folks, work with me let's change if you don't change you will die that's number three and number four he mentioned a lot of detail about Panasonic LG and uh, AGTL so these three battery companies are working closely with Elon Musk and a lot of heaps of other smaller Chinese companies as well like plug power equivalent so he's working with people he's not working alone he's trying to get the troops in to work together to develop this new battery design he's getting a lot of people involved he's not just a dedicated team he's getting different parts in a lot of collaborative work so looking for investment i mentioned two etfs up here that potentially that you should invest in or even look into detail for battery because they will be in demand battery researcher battery supply chain will be in demand when this elon Musk kicks off this big terra not giga factory not terra watt factory and the fourth one, nickel and lithium. He mentioned in his anode cathode battery, he needs lots of nickel, lots of lithium. The large abundance. And he mentioned Nevada, he mentioned Las Vegas. He's gonna start mining. He's been speaking, leveraging mining companies. So if you're an investor who wants to look, who invests in the shovel rather than gold miners, then start looking which miners will be good. Is that the fourth or fifth one? So, so for, I suppose for the sixth one, his long-term goal, his end game is a $25,000 car. He did say that he wants to produce $25,000 car and sell it to everyone in the world. You know, being sustainable doesn't mean profit. He wants to go in volume, he wants to make it affordable, he wants to make it cheap. Because at the end of the day, battery cars are supposed to be more healthy, cleaner, and affordable for everybody. Why you want to make so much money from a car luxuriously like BMW he wants to make it affordable so $25,000 vehicle is his target we don't know when 2030 2040 but that's his target and he's confident he might achieve it before 2030 and and, and the last the last part the last part that I want to say is uh, you know they're going battery production they are scaling really really fast they're looking at 2030 2040 stock share price fell 5% today they're falling another 4% as I speak just now so a 10% drop so they're below $400 a share just now which is absolutely ridiculous I don't know why people are, are selling off Tesla shares they should be buying for the future I'm even sitting here contemplating that the money they've put in on Total and Shell for my kids and BP still left over maybe perhaps I should sell them off and start investing in Tesla I am serious. I sound a bit crazy. I'm a bit sleepy now, a bit wonky, but I think this is serious. This is a serious matter to get into a sustainable future. Because at the end of the day, my kids will be growing up in an environment who is pollutive if we do not solve this 
global warming issue this um uh, you know without solving this issue you know the, the, the world is getting warmer you know the ice caps are melting nobody is doing much about it everyone's protesting but no one's caring but Elon Musk is actually doing something trying to stop an industry but raising another industry for electric vehicles and possibly for HVAC system for he's trying to build uh, portable battery packs that's outside buildings that you can really can unhook off the grid that you can run power supply from so this was a great three hours spent with Elon Musk and I really enjoyed it and I am seeing his vision I, he shared the vision to me and I want to get a job at Tesla now I really want to get a job at Tesla so Elon chance of you watching this 0.001% if you're watching this or your HR watching it I want to get a job in Elon Musk I want to join what can I do I don't know battery design efficiency design cost control cutting i will do anything to make a change if you need a pair of hands and a brain i'm here i'm sure there are other people out there wanting to help so this is me i better go to bed i'm really tired but i'm excited it's a great conference so take it guys bye